want to share a very simple tip with everybody that you can all actually use the next time you go out to play. If we study some of the greats that ever played, guys like Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods, you'll see they do something very specific in their pre-shot routine before they hit most of their golf shots. What they do is they allow the golf club to swing at their side. They're sensing the weight and the balance of that club back and forth. This exact motion is what we're going to actually use as we go to strike this shot. You know, all the golf clubs in our bag are different weights, different lengths, different swing weights, different feels. So just before we go off, it's very important that we get an intimate connection with how that golf club feels in our hands. And you'll see they take this feeling right into their swing as they go to hit. I'm going to show you where you can use that in other parts of your game also. You'll see even on the putting green many great players do this. After they've determined the break and the read of the putt, the last thing they do is they stand behind the golf ball visualizing the break and the speed and then allowing the putter to swing in their hands. This gives them the perfect pendulum motion that they're going to use in their stroke as they go to putt. see there just how important it is in many golf shots to get a little swinging feel of the club head. A couple great examples here is of players doing this very thing, letting the club swing at his side there, getting a sense of the, the weight of the club head, the rhythm of the swing as he visualizes this long lag putt. This is Graham McDowell, number one in strokes game putting 2014, number one in total putting, and just always one of the most consistent putters on tour. Like I mentioned earlier, too, it's not just current players, guys like Jack Nicklaus. If you go back and watch old footage of him playing, he nearly does this on every golf shot. It just really establishes a great feel and rhythm to the shot that you're about to play. Here we have an example of Sergio Garcia, always one of the most consistent ball strikers on tour. Uh, last year, he was number two in um, strokes gained ball striking. So you can see here doing the same thing, letting the club swing it aside before he goes in to play this golf shot. So what I would have everyone do is next time out, instead of maybe filling your mind with too many technical thoughts, thoughts about the positions of the golf swing, thoughts about different body parts and where to put them and when to move them, um, save some of that for the driving range. We can be a little more technical there, but on the golf course, I want you to really keep it simple. Just allow that club to swing at your side as you visualize your next shot. 